in the act first we have seen the setting of the play as well as the opening scene of the play duncan's character and his parents as well as his attendants also we have seen the battle between norwegian norwegian and scotland's army we have also seen the uh, fight fought by macbeth and banquo in the battle and how they defeated macdonald that we have seen we also have seen the uh, how they meet to three witches and three witches prophecy regarding both of them again we have seen in the first act how uh, king duncan is generous and to please macbeth he uh, announces that he will visit the castle of macbeth in the act second uh, we have seen that macbeth and lady macbeth plotting to murder the king how they murder the king and in what way they also murder the two attendants or we can say the two porters who are the watchmen uh, to the room of king dunk also we have seen the character of lady macbeth how she is uh, 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 what we can say a wise lady who plotted everything and who uh, control the act third we cannot say act third but whole action of the play in that act second um, we have seen she always force macbeth macbeth is not in the state to kill king duncan but actually lady macbeth forcing boost him to kill the duncan king she ring the bell she took the dagger and kept it near the two porters also she tries to spread the message that the uh, malcolm and donalbians fling is a kind of um, as a traitor as they have killed their father in that so we come to know both the characters now in this act we have to see the next in the play in an attempt to avoid the witches prophecy that banco will father kings macbeth hires two murderers to kill banco and his son flins lady macbeth is left uninformed of these plans a third murderer joins the other two on the hit and the three men kill banco flins however manages to escape Banquo's ghost appears to Macbeth as he sits down to a celebratory banquet. Banquet is a word that used to represent, or we can say, it means a grand party. 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 so banquet uh, banquet means a grand party sending him into a frenzy of terror lady macbeth attempts to cover up for his odd behavior but the banquet comes to a premature end as the thens begins to questions macbeth's sanity macbeth decides that he must revisit the witches to look into the future once more meanwhile macbeth things begin to turn against him macduff meets malcolm in england to prepare an army to march on scotland so this is the act 3 and in this act 3 we come to know that what macbeth does to manage his reign in the scotland so what he know he was there at the first time when witches met him and at that time banquo was also with him and out of three prophecy there was one that was 
Banco will be the king of fathers. And that prophecy, that prophecy is dangerous to Macbeth, so he decided to kill the Mac Banco. He hires some murderers and he orders them to kill the Banco. About this, uh, what we can say, decision, Lady Macbeth was not aware. She is not informed by the Macbeth regarding the Banco's murder. So both murderers went there and third murderer who is hired by Lady Macbeth joined them in between on the heath and three of them killed the Banco. Now with the Banco there was his son. His name is Flens. He is also one of the great soldier warrior so that he manages to escape from that fight and he saved his life. Now Banco was killed by the higher murderers and here in the inversion Macbeth arranged one grand party is known as banquet. He arranged one grand party and all the things, all his courtiers, all the warriors were there. But what happened? Macbeth is not in a good condition. He is in a dilemma. We can say he is in a state of confusion. He always saw the hallucination. And he is always in his hallucination. So, in that party, he saw the ghost of Banco. He knows, only he knows that Banco is murdered by his men. There was one seat kept for Banco near the Macbeth. And that seat, that chair was empty. But still, every thing is observing to that chair. But Macbeth is thinking that that the Banco is there. Banco was upset, and that's why he knows Banco is killed by his men. Banco has killed by his men, but he saw the ghost of Banco on that uh, chair, and that's why he become terrific. And all the things are observing him, but Lady Macbeth attempts to cover up for his odd behavior. But the banquet comes to a premature end as the fence begins to question Macbeth's sanity. Because everything we are saying that everyone is saying that Banco, sorry, Macbeth becomes a mad person. Macbeth decides that he must revisit the witches. To look into the future once more. So what happened? Now Macbeth was in a confused state. He wants to know what will happen the next. And that's why he wants to meet the three witches. And that's why he decided to go there to know his future. Meanwhile, meanwhile Macbeth's things begin to turn against him. Because he becomes a ruthless ruler now, he becomes a tyrant there and he was, uh, what we can say, forcing his reign there and his ideology there. That's why all the things who are working with Macbeth, they goes against him. Macduff now, who has, uh, what we can say, ran away from the Scotland, meets Malcolm in the England. Malcolm is the son of, what we can say, the younger, elder son of Duncan. Macduff is also one of the great warrior like Macbeth and that's why Macduff does not like the nature of Macbeth, the ruling of Macbeth and his tyranny. That's why he wants to bring Malcolm once again on the reign of Scotland. So he ran away from the Scotland, met the Malcolm in England and prepared his army to march on the Scotland. So this is the Act 3. In this Act 3, we have seen Banco's state, sorry, we have seen Macbeth's nature, how Macbeth brings his doom.
how he lost his consciousness how he thought bank was uh, what we can say uh, ghost there in the banquet or in a grand party and because of that his uh, lost of consciousness uh, all the things confused and that party ends uh, what we can say in the confused state now the act fourth in the act fourth the three witches show macbeth three apparitions the first one seen against macbeth the second tells him to fear no man born of woman and the third prophesies that he will fall only when birnam wood comes to dunsinan castle macbeth takes this as a prophecy that he is infallible when he asks the witches if their prophecy about banco will come true they show him a procession of eight kings all of whom look like banco meanwhile in england malcolm tests macduff's loyalty by pretending to confess to multiple sins and malicious ambitions when macduff proves his loyalty to scotland the two strategize for their offensive against macbeth back in scotland macbeth has macduff's wife and children murder so this is the act four in the act four what we come to know that we have seen in the act 3 uh, that banquet scene in the banquet scene macbeth lost his consciousness he become mad he thought banquo's ghost is there on the chair all the attendants all the things we are laughing at him all of them have left the party now macbeth become a, what we can say a mad he wants to because he is afraid of banco he don't know whether banco is dead or not he comes to know banco is dead but he also comes to know that his son flins have ran away and that's why he is always uh, what we can say is always get the reminder of the prophecy told by three witches three witches has three witches have told him that banco will be the father of king and that flens have ran away so that he become a mad he is in a terror he thought that flens will become a king so he decided once again to meet the three witches and to know what will happen in the future and in the fourth act he went there on that land moor land and he met three witches and now three witches show him three apparitions see the first apparition was that once macbeth against mac what was the first apparition the first apparition was that there was warning to macbeth against macduff the second is that in the second three witches told macbeth to fear no man who is born from woman in the second apparition or the second apparition told macbeth that he is not need to worried about a man who is born naturally from his mother the third apparition is that or the third thing is that the third thing told he will fall only when birnamur comes to dunsinan castle see there is a forest near the castle of macbeth so the name of that forest is birnamur and this 
three witches were telling that Macbeth is not need to worry till the Birnam wood moves toward us the castle. So these are the three things told by the three witches in the second visit to Macbeth. Now Macbeth takes this as a prophecy that he is infallible. Now Macbeth become what we can say a, a, Macbeth now becomes a fearless. He is thinking that no one is there in this world to kill him because there is no man who is born unnatural. So he is now free. When he asked the witches if their prophecy about Banco will come true, they show him a procession of eight kings, all of whom look like Banco. So what happened? He comes to know all the things. But what is his fear? He is afraid of Banco's son. And that's why he asked once again to the witches what will happen to the Banco's prophecy. But three witches did not reply him. They show Macbeth one procession. And that procession was showing the eight kings. And all of them look like Banco. So what happened meanwhile in England? This is the one scene in Act 4. In Act 4, there is another scene here. Macduff was still alive. He is a great warrior. He is working in the army of Duncan. He is like Macbeth brave and he is loyal to his country, to Scotland. That's why he wants to restore the reign of Duncan in the England. So he ran away from the Scotland. He went into the England. He meets to uh, Duncan's elder son Malcolm and told everything about Macbeth's tyranny. But Malcolm wants to test Macduff's loyalty by, by pretending to confess to multiple sins and malicious ambitions. When Macduff proves his loyalty to Scotland, the two strategies for their offensive against Macbeth. Both of them back in Scotland, sorry, Macbeth back in Scotland has Macduff's wife and children murdered. Now, in the next scene, Macduff, sorry, Macbeth have ordered his men to kill the wife and children of Macduff and his men killed the wife and children of Macduff. So, this is the last act, that is the fifth one. Lady Macbeth suffers from bouts of sleepwalking to a doctor who observes her symptoms she unwittingly reveals her guilt as she pronounces that she cannot wash her hands clean of blood stains. Macbeth is too preoccupied with battle preparations to pay much heed to her dreams and expresses anger when the doctor says he cannot cure her. Just as the English army led by Malcolm, Macduff, Seward approaches Lady Macbeth's cry of death is heard in the castle. Just as the English army led by Malcolm, Macduff, Seward approaches Lady Macbeth's cry of death is heard in the castle. When Macbeth hears of her death, he commits that she should have died at a future date and muse on the meaninglessness of life. Taking the witch's second prophecies in good faith, Macbeth still believes that he is impregnable to the approaching army. But Malcolm has instructed each man in the English army to cut a tree branch from Birnam wood and hold it up to disguise the army's total numbers. As a result, Macbeth's servants reports that he has seen a seemingly impossible sight. Birnam Wood seems to be moving toward the castle. Macbeth is shaken but still engages the coming army. 
In battle, Macbeth kills young Seward, the English general's brave son. Macduff then challenges Mac Macbeth. As they fight, Macduff reveals that he was not a woman born, but was untimely ripped from his mother's womb. Macbeth is stunned but refuses to yield to Macduff. Macduff kills him and decapita decapitates him. At the end of the play, Malcolm is proclaimed the new king of Scotland. See, this is the ending of the play. In the last act, we have seen the condition of Lady Macbeth. She is the fourth which is called by so many critics in the play. She forced Macbeth to kill the king. Macbeth killed the king and lost his consciousness. In the same way, Lady Macbeth also lost her consciousness and that we observe in act 5th. She was now suffering. She was walking in the sleep. She was not what we can say taking a nap. She was suffering from her misdeed. We can say not accepted act of murdering the king. Doctor comes there they want to give the treatment to Lady Macbeth. But they observe a different kind of symptoms. She unwittingly reveals her guilt as she pronounces that she cannot wash her hands and cleanse of bloodstains. Because she knows what mistakes she has committed. She knows she has killed the king, the person who is like a father to her. And she has killed that man. She knows that Macbeth was not ready to kill the man, but she forced him to kill. She knows that she is the only one to kill the two attendants or to porter on the gatekeeper. She knows that she is the only one to kill the Banco and his son. That's why she has lost her consciousness. She reminds her sins and now she is suffering from her sins. Macbeth here is too preoccupied with battle preparation. So in this act what happened? She is suffering there. And Macbeth and Malcolm, the son of the elder son of Duncan prepared to fight against the Macbeth because they want to restore, they want to restore the reign of Duncan. So, here Macbeth is not prepared. He is already collapsed. Mentally he is loose. He lost everything. But as a king, he wants to fight against so, he is not fully prepared to the battle. To pay much heed to her dreams and expresses anger when the doctor says he cannot cure. Just as the English army led by Malcolm, Macduff and Seward, these three persons were leading the English army. They came in the Birnam mood. Macbeth is ready to fight against them. At that time, the news comes to him that Lady Macbeth is dead. And at that time again, Macbeth as a king, as a husband, lost his conscience and he is also now lost his own. But still, he knows that that Lady Macbeth should have died at a future date and she should 
saw the meaninglessness of her life. In that way, she says, when he listened the news of Lady Macbeth's death. Now, the war has started. Here, all the soldiers are there in the Birnamur. That Macduff, who is the gen gen general of the army, order every army man to carry the what we can say to car carry the branch of that Birnamu because he wants to hide his person but Malcolm has instructed each man in the English army to cut a tree branch from Birnamu and hold it up to disguise the army's total numbers. As a result, Macbeth's servant reports that he has seen a seemingly impossible sight. Birnamur seems to be moving toward the castle. Macbeth is shaken but still engages the oncoming army. See, three witches have told Macbeth that he is not need to worry till the Birna mood moves towards its castle. And now Macbeth's soldiers are reporting to Macbeth that that Birna mood is moving towards the castle. That's why he got the shock. Now he lost his confidence but still he is in the army and that's why he engages the oncoming army. See, in the battle what happened? Young Siwar, the English general's brave son were fighting with Macbeth but, but Macbeth killed him. Now the Macduff comes. He challenges Macbeth. Both of them are fighting. And in between Macbeth comes to know that Macduff is not born from his mother. He is the man who born untimely from the wombs of his mother. And now Macbeth lost his all confidence. He comes to know the reality of Macduff. As they fight, Macduff reveals that he was not of a woman born but was untimely ripped from his mother's womb. Macbeth is stunned but refuses to yield to Macduff. Macduff kills him and decapitates him. At the end of the play, Malcolm is proclaimed the new king of Scotland. This is the summary of the Act Fifth.